Okay, here we are back on the bench again. And in front of us here we have a 1980 model Tektronics T922. Now, that's a 15 megahertz two channel oscilloscope. And what we've done, if you can see this isn't exactly Tektronics um, board here. Um, this is a custom board I, uh, I etched from Mr. Uh, Carlson's lab and uh, it's an oscillator board and specially designed to um, fit inside of an oscilloscope or outside in a box and it generates about a one kilohertz tone that comes out on or sine wave it comes out on these and it feeds back through and gets measured by the horizontal and vertical inputs now you, you replace the BNC's out here with a couple banana jacks at least that's my my game plan and then you uh, run these leads out for the test probes and then the uh, original horizontal and vertical inputs you switch it over to XY mode and then uh, you get a signature trace out on the scope here and so uh, I'm in the process of uh, finishing wiring this up you can see I've got the uh, that circuit board in there and then there's a this wire, these three wires here, you get the red, green, and uh, yellow, and that's for um, plus and minus 15 volts and the ground. And also right here, you can see where we've tied in right here with the uh, power supply. So when I turn on the button, push the press the button for to turn on the scope, that's those. These two leads here have got 120 volts on them. That goes up into a transformer on the other side here that I've mounted in order to get a separate power out of the thing. We've got right below here, you can see there's a center tap uh, transformer. And on top, I've got a voltage regulator we've got a 7915 and a 7815 and a couple of capacity you know it's just a voltage regulator circuit okay and then we pull the plus and minus 15 volts off here's our AC coming in from below a drilled <laughs> drilled some holes there's a couple existing holes this one it was too close to the edge for the uh, there's part of the cover sits right on this groove and it keeps us together so I had to cut a little notch around this but anyway Drill the hole and put a grommet in it. Run the power down to tap into the uh, the, the line uh, line side supply, and then come out of here. We come out of here and into uh, into the board, and for the AC in and DC regulated out. Okay, and then uh, well, what we've done over here on the front is we've uh, taken and. Uh, we added a when we put this in we have to add a control here for the uh, we're just going to relocate the camera here a little bit and uh, anyway relocate the control we had to add a potentiometer for gain control and this is for high current low current output on the uh, on your test leads and I've uh, removed the BNC's that were here for the horizontal and vertical or, or excuse me you know a or x y channel one channel two however you want to look at it and then uh waiting for binding posts and uh as soon as the banana jacks come in i'll mount those in there and solder these to the end of the post and then uh i'm gonna fire this thing up but i noticed earlier tonight that we were having some issues with the power supply i, I uh, saw this noticed this in the power supply and this is a uh, 160 volt 100 microfarad capacitor and if you can see real closely here at the end it's all discolored and uh, kind of nasty looking this end is bulging slightly so that's usually a sign that this isn't got long to live and you know it's four, 40 years old so I uh, I just happen to have one uh, <laughs> the same uh, rating sitting around in my one of the parts boxes I have and luckily yeah uh, I, uh, that was the worst looking one, so I replaced it. I have ordered uh, another half dozen to replace all the 
electrolytic capacitors in the power supply. So when that's finished, um, then I'll uh, get this thing all tuned up for uh, for doing a, uh, a test run, and I can show you what this does. And uh, it's a very useful device. Um, some people may be familiar with the uh, Huntron Tracker, which is uh, a similar device. It's, it's got various output levels of uh, for different current settings. You got your high, low, and medium. And this is basically the same kind of thing. You got your outputs, and then these are just the controls for the CRT. But uh, anyway, this this is a custom-made one, and uh, I've been looking around for a year for the right scope. I've bought, eh, I've got a few scopes laying around. I mean, I've got all kinds of scopes, and uh, I bought a couple of um, Heath kit scopes and an RCA. And anyway, this is the one that I think suits the bill the best. It's comp very compact. It's only 19 inches long. It's about 10, 11 inches high and about 7 or 8 inches wide. Weighs maybe 14 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that. So it's not real heavy. And uh, it's got a nice bright trace still on the screen. So we, uh, we should get the binding post tomorrow in the mail according to the uh, tracking information. And I just ordered the other caps, but I'll run this thing with the, the only caps that look bad. And actually, that one didn't measure that bad. It was 115 microfarad at uh, 1.8 ohms uh, ESR at 120 hertz. So it wasn't in that bad of shape, but it was bulging and it looked nasty, and so it got replaced. All right, everybody, that's it. I'll have more later.